This is a private equity club, with several membership classes offered. The award-winning 18-hole course was designed by Tom Fazio, one of the world's foremost golf architects. Architecturally inspired by an 18th-century Charleston Low Country Plantation home, it houses the tavern, meeting room, men, s and ladies, locker rooms, men, s card room, golf pro shop, and tennis pros, and administrative offices. This view is from the clubhouse second floor porch. The tennis center features eight well-maintained hard TRU courts, a viewing stand and a covered patio viewing social gathering place adjacent to the clubhouse tavern. Five of the courts are lighted for enjoying tennis at night. The tennis program includes mixed socials, round robins, drills, clinics, and competitive team play, as well as one of the most accomplished adult and junior teaching programs in the country. Here there is a large pool and hot tub. A snack bar and restrooms accommodate both swimmers, sunbathers and golfers making the turn. This is a duplex dwelling with two-story floor plan. A limited number of these beautifully decorated, low country style cottages are available for nightly, weekly, monthly or long-term rentals. Each two-bedroom slash two-bath and two-bedroom slash 2.5-bath cottage is fully equipped and well-appointed. Families, wedding parties, golf groups and vacationers are extended the privileges of a temporary membership while renting which includes access to all the club's amenities. The Live Oaks abound in Wakasa Plantation. These low country beauties are several hundred years old and have withstood hurricanes and ice storms for hundreds of years. This gazebo covers the remains of the original planter S home foundation. Adjacent to the Kimball's restaurant overlooking the beautiful Waccamaw Bluff has been the site of many weddings and club parties over the years. A perfect spot for drinks at sunset or lunch and dinner overlooking the river. This is the prettiest part of the intercoastal waterway from Florida to New England. This is a typical scene on the river in the spring and fall when boats move either north or south. A favorite dining spot on Kimball's restaurant. In the background is where the rice fields, now forested over, were located. This is a par 5, an outstanding finishing hole. When tournaments are played, this area is used for posting scores, serving snacks banquet style with refreshing beverages. Water, water everywhere. A large pond in front of the 18th tee presents enough challenge, and then the second shot landing area abuts another large tidal pond to catch anything hit too far to the left. The third shot into the green can't be too long or it finds the Waccamaw River.